This is Chippy from UMBC Portal and we've got another unboxing today. Yesterday we had the Galaxy Tab, probably one of the most important consumer tablets to arrive at least in the second half of 2010. Today, what is probably one of the most important um, professional or um, let's say professionally targeted or pro-targeted uh, tablets to arrive in the second half of 2010. It's going to be the Tega Tech Tega V2 which is uh, uh, from Tega Tech in Australia but they're sitting up in Europe and US so this is launching uh, right now around the world. We've got pricing we've got specs and we've got a fully specced up device here so we're going to unbox it and take a quick look around this is only going to be a 10 minute video uh, but remember we have a um, live open review for you tonight on the 15th of October or if this is after the 15th check out umcportal.com for those uh, videos and of course full review loads of other stuff going on as well so let's get into it let's unbox the Tega Tech Tega V2 Okay, let's get uh, straight into this. Don't mess around too much with the uh, packaging here. That is, oh, a screen cleaner and a what's look like <laughs> and a shirt. How oh, very nice of them. Maybe I'll even wear that for the live session tonight. Tega V2. Oh, it's bigger than the iPad. I love it. I'm definitely going to wear that tonight for the uh, live session. Thanks, Tech Tech, for the T-shirt. But let's get right into the uh, device itself. Looks like we've got a stand here. Um, let's open the uh, packaging. Nice uh, packaging. Still sealed up. Let me just uh, quickly break the seal on that one there. Do, do, do. And push that out. So for those of you that don't know what the Tega V2 is, 10 inch, capacitive, multi-touch screen, windows, uh, small error on the camera there. Um, but anyway, carrying on, I was telling you the specs, it's a 10 inch capacitive, multi-touch, 1024 by 600 screen, Windows 7, 2 gigs of memory on this one, 32 gig fast SSD. So really, as I said, aimed at the professional market. Uh, in the box we have kettle plug and looks like mini. VGA to uh, VGA adapter. I'll show that a bit more closely in a minute. And uh, here's the actual tablet itself. We're going to zoom in in a minute. Ah, here's something very useful. It's the car adapter, 12 volt to uh, whatever it takes in the device. And it's a 19 volt DC input. And there's the uh, normal cable. All right, let's put these to one side. Zoom in on the actual device itself, and I'll take you around it. Okay, before we zoom in uh, close, let's have a quick look at this uh, stand. I'm, I'm a big fan of stands and docking stations. I think for tablets they bring a lot of value. Now, this is a fairly basic stand, probably a generic, probably not f built for this, this device itself. Um, but you'll be able to lean the device up against that. As long as it's got rubber on the bottom of the device, we'll see how that works. So anyway, that could be useful for, for other devices as well. Anyway. Let's go straight into the, uh, the device itself. Here we are. Devices always look better when they come out the box uh, compared to when we see them on the show floor. And this one we've seen a couple of times on, on the show floor and certainly not in as good a, con good a condition as this. Solid build. Um, this is, um, oh, it looks really nice. It's an aluminium back to it. I'm just pulling this plastic off. Uh, and there you go, Tega Tech logo on the back. This is aluminium, it's a really nice uh, finish. There's uh, rubber stops on the bottom, that's the stuff that's going to stop it, oh, maybe stop it sliding. Oh, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> uh, on the front then, go around the, quickly, around the device, three buttons. Now, you want to know that this is a dual boot system with Android and Windows uh, 7 on it. So these buttons actually are useful for Android as well as uh, Windows 7. I think some of these are mapped for Windows 7 as well. Uh, and then we've got the actual screen itself, 1024 by 600. We've got a camera there. We've got some indicator buttons there. This is, um, I don't know if it's glass or plastic. Probably, probably glass. Probably glass. It looks fairly high quality. Um, on the side of the device here, there's nothing here. Go around the top. We've got, um, that's your 3G card slot. So your, your SIM card slot. Uh, fan output here reset button then on the uh, side here we've got three and a half mil headphone port we've got micro SD we've got there's where the mini VGA adapter goes in two full USB 2 ports a headset port and a mic built-in mic there 
on the bottom and I was really hoping to see a docking port there but there's no docking port um, I kind of like the way that metal I don't know if you can see it on this video but the actual back of it is slightly chamfered um, and fits over in a kind of angled way nice uh, nice touch on the back notice no removable battery so that's uh, fairly interesting uh, speaker port and there's the fan input and output again I suspect I think it's one mono speaker but we'll test that out and I think that's it for for around the device the buttons feel good uh, and I've just turned it on so that's good you'll see the multi-boot uh, features there's a glossy screen for you <laughs> it'll be okay once that uh, boots into an OS all right let's just boot that again uh, for you we're going to boot into Windows and uh, that really is a glossy screen let's just wait for the uh, boot okay we select here and then we're going to Windows 7 there so you'll see it boot into Windows uh, 7 now. We'll, we'll show you Android in a later video. The main feature here is, is Windows 7 and that's really what this device is built for. I can't find a decent angle without <laughs> reflections but uh, okay it's going into Windows 7 setup. This could take some time so what I'm going to do is cut the uh, video there. It's just the unboxing. I'm going to have some uh, detailed hands-on videos for you at uh, umpcportal.com uh, afterwards and of course the live sessions tonight on the 15th of October uh, look out for the recordings of the live sessions if you're not able to make it to the live session but uh, looking good solid device built for professional uses and uh, yeah 800 grams for a 10 inch tablet is really not not that bad let's see how it performs this is Chippy from umpcportal.com with the Tega Tech Tega V2 thanks for watching And one more thing before I finish this video, it took me a while, but I've just managed to work out how to use the stand. I was uh, trying it like that, when in fact, it goes like that. And the device just rests on the stand like that. It's good. <laughs> I was a bit worried that uh, Tega Tech had sent me something completely useless, but obviously not. It's me that's useless. Thanks for watching. This is Chippy, umpcportal.com.